what do you think about um, the current MVP favorite and who do you think it should be? I really think that the MVP favorite um, should be uh, Joel. And this isn't even me like sounding biased or whatever, but like, I just think that like, you know, pound for pound, I honestly think that MB is more valuable to their team, to his team than Jokic is. And some people may disagree, but here's the reason why I say that people say, well, I mean, they run their whole offense through Jokic. They do the same thing in Philly with Joel. Mm-hmm. They, you know, feed him the ball. Like, like the whole two man game, the him between Embiid and Harden, the pick and roll, like that is their offense. And, you know, they run it very well. And the thing is, I feel like with what Jokic does, like he is like the orchestrator of Denver's offense and he, and he does it well too, but he does well because he has decent players around him as well to, you know, make plays for him and, you know, stuff like that. Nobody, in my opinion, is fearing, oh, Jokic has the ball in the post. He, he going to put a move on me. Like, like, like Jokic doesn't strike fear in you for what, for what he can do in terms of scoring. He strikes fear on you because from in in a 40 minute, I'm sorry, in a 48 minute game, the effect that the overall effect that he can have on the game is elite. I'll give him that. But if it's crunch time, you it's 10 seconds left. You need a bucket. You got to get somebody the ball. You mean to tell me that you can choose Jokic over Embiid, bro? Like me personally, Outside of playmaking and passing ability, like I don't know what Jokic does better than Embiid. He's not a better defender. He's a hard well, I don't say a horrible rim protector, but he's not a good rim mm. protector. He's not more athletic. He's not an overall better scorer. He does shoot better from three point range. I will give him that. But in terms of overall scoring on all three levels, pure athleticism, moves, handles, post moves, it's not even close. And I just feel like with with Joel, what he does, what he brings to the table is so, you know, dynamic because he's putting up those numbers even with a James Harden who's, you know, putting up, you know, 20 assists. And, you know, with a Tyrese Maxey who's still putting up 20 points a game. And, you know, like I just feel like overall he just brings so much more to the table. And without Joel, like I just feel like, you know, the Sixers – would probably be like a, you know, maybe like a six seed, set like seven seed. Without Jokic, I don't know where the Nuggets would be because the West is trash. They could still probably be a top five seed without Jokic. And like, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like Embiid is doing it in a harder conference. And like you alluded top to. Top five me, though? Top five? Bro, like, let me pull up these. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> top five is, look, I mean. Bro, listen, the fifth best team in the uh-huh. West, their record is 36 and 33, barely over 50%. That team is okay. the Los uh- Angeles Clippers. They're almost, they're okay. basically a 500 team. Yeah, the, all right. okay. The, all the, right. the, the Nuggets would be a slightly over, if not a right there at a 500 team without Yogic, which just so happens to be a top five seed in the Western <laughs> it Conference. It just so happens to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, all like, right. so. And Bede's doing it in a tougher conference. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he's, you know, and just like Jokic, they have their whole system built around him, and he's still leading the league in scoring, and he's a threat from all three levels. Um, and I I just feel like for Jokic to fully be effective, he needs to have players, you know, make like making plays for him, you know, so that when he passes the ball, he's getting them assisted and he's sending people in the right pockets. Like they have good three point shooting. They have, you know, good athletic wing depth. Um, but like with MB, like he can get his own shot. He don't need nobody to, you know, set him up or, you know, whatever. And I just feel like in, People may disagree with what with how with what I'm about to say, but I just feel like Yoga just more of a system type player than than, than Embiid is. Now, some people may disagree, and that's fine. But I just like <laughs> I just <laughs> my man called Yo- called Jokic a system pl- player. Mm. I mean, Hot if take. you like if if you put Jokic on a team with like a prom. Floor general like a Chris Paul, like a James Harden. 
I don't think he's putting up the numbers that he's putting up. He's if not. you put if you put Jokic on a team that does not have a, that elite three point shooting, I don't think he's going to be as as good as he is. You put Embiid on any team, I don't care how poor their three point shooting is. I don't care if this team lacks a floor general. He's still going to put up thirty and ten. Like his game is more. Uh, translatable to mo- to multiple systems. I just feel like Jokic just happens to be in a very good system. And like, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to take away from him being like a bum player. Like he's clearly not a bum. Like he's like, like I do think he's more of a system player. But he excels well, very well in in, in the system. Within so, the system, right, right, right. So you know, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make it seem like Jokic is a role player. But like, I just feel like. You know, an elite, elite one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I like I just feel like MB just brings more to the table. I feel like he's more valuable to his team and um, you know, this winning streak. I mean, like when you've seen like we've been down, we've been battle tested, we've been in positions where we we've been down twenty plus points and things to MB leading the way. You know, and not even just offensively, but the effect that he has defensively, like he disrupts people from driving to the the rim. He gets it done on both sides of the ball. And I feel like that's something that you can't necessarily say with Jokic, especially in terms of like how well Embiid does it in comparison to him. So I just feel like with all of that, you know, value to, you know, his team, I just feel like Embiid should be the number one candidate for MVP. And not to take anything away from Giannis. Personally, I think Giannis is the best player in the league. I really like his game. Um, he's just a beast. He's so, you know, dominant. And he's a great defender as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, Giannis brings what – and I think he won, he, he's won two MVPs, right? Two. Yeah, back-to-back. Yeah. Like, and he has – 2016? 2017 or something? Yeah. Close, like, close to them? And he has a title to show for it, where they were down 2-0 and came back, won the rest of the four games. So I have a I have a lot of respect for Giannis's game, but um, I just feel like Embiid is owed it. I mean, he's proved it for these past few years. Why he's one of the most dominant players in in the league, and I just feel like it's time, bro. Like I just feel like we just got to give this man his just due, and mm. you know, you know, he's one of the NBA greats. He's like I think Embiid is a top five player, and I, I feel like he deserves to win an MVP. So yeah. He's definitely top three. I, I, I would you say right, top, you right, you right. top three. Um right. when when like he doesn't cry at the end of like games. 